Things are constantly changing within your documentation as KB articles need updating and assets are coming in and leaving your instance. When this happens, the flow of information needs to be easily visible by both technicians and admin. Whether you need to mark something as inactive, set up a review process for when documentation is created, or maybe something is incorrect in your documentation, flagging can be the solution. Flags are customizable markers that can be placed onto KB articles and any asset within your Hoodoo environment and serve to assist in the improvement of your documentation quality. To get started, you will want to create some flag types. As I go into the admin section of Hoodoo, you will see one of the sections is flag types. As I click into this section, I can create different flag types that may be useful to allow my technicians to utilize while they are adding, updating, and deleting documentation. Here I have created flag types for when something is outdated, inactive, and incorrect items. I also have a flag type created for a review process that my technicians and I can use. Each flag corresponds to a different color, making it very easy to distinguish between them as well. Now let's dive into how a article or asset can be flagged. As I jump into a sample company and into the KB section, you can see that one of the columns in the table view is going to be flags. This is where having flags correspond to certain colors can be extremely useful. As I go ahead and click into our article here, example flag, and go to the more options button, here you can see one of our options we have is flag. Once this is selected, it will give me all of my flag types and allow me to add a description for why I am flagging this article. Now let's say that I'm a technician and have just finished writing this article and need approval from my supervisor before it is published. I can go ahead and add a flag type for needs review and write a brief description and save it as a draft. So let's just say um, needs review before publish. Now we'll go ahead and flag this article and you'll see that here we see our flag for needs review before publish. So now that the technician's job is finished, let's talk about the admin side of things. Jumping back into the admin section of Hoodoo, we can now click into the flag review section. This section of Hoodoo allows me to sort through all of our flags that my technicians have created based on the flag types that have been set. If I filter the flags and only look at the items that have been flagged for needs review, here I can see that article that we just flagged, example flag, here in this section, and we can see the description that we labeled it, needs review before publish. Once I review the article, um, which I can go into from this flag section, I can simply remove the flag from this section and publish it as needed. Now again, this is just one of many ways that you can utilize flagging in Hoodoo. As your documentation is getting added and changed, you want to make sure that everyone is on the same page and that your processes for making these changes are easily adaptable for your company. Next time you are thinking, I wish there was an easy way to bridge the gap in communication between technicians and admins, consider setting up some flags.